So here we are on Saturday the 13th of December and it's Janet Sturgis talking to Mr. Norman Matchett about his experience of running the boats on, at Dunorlan Park. So Mr. Matchett, um, have you always lived in Tunbridge Wells? Yes, uh, always in Tunbridge Wells. Well, I'm at Southburn now, but mm -hmm. uh, Tunbridge Wells has been my home. Yeah. Born and bred. Yeah. Uh, up till I got married after the war. <laughs> yes, yes. And um, your, your fame is uh, uh, as you're long established with your brother uh, as, as running the boats in Dunorlan. Can you tell me how you got into that line of work? Yes, well, it was quite interesting actually. I came back after the war and I went back to, I was at the World Stores, the Grocers in Calvary Road. Mm -hmm. uh, I stayed there for a while, but after being away five years, I couldn't settle. Mm -hmm. So I decided to start a window cleaning round. Oh, yes. <laughs> and uh, probably one of the first uh, contracts I got was Lord and Lady Knowles. They had a old, very old house, uh, dated house, uh, at Lye Green. Oh, yes. And uh, I, I'd done it to her two or three times, and then she said, well, Mr. Matthew, I'm going back to London. Um, <laughs> do you know anyone who wants a trailer canteen? I run it in the Blitz in London, and apart, oh apart from a few shrapnel holes, <laughs> uh, she said, it's in perfect condition and well equipped. And I looked at it, it was beautiful, but there was holes in the side of the shrapnel. From shrapnel? Oh, yeah, yeah. a lot of shrapnel holes, wasn't it? Yes. But other than that, it was, it was good. Well, I'd only got twenty pound to my name, <laughs> 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 and I couldn't. Uh, I really f didn't fancy offering her that, but I did. I said, "Look, I've got twenty pound," uh, and she said, "Yes, that's fine." Well, I made a check out point and gave it to her. So and she, twenty pounds. She never cashed that check. Really? She never. Oh, uh, well. And as she was going back to London, I never had the time to thank her. Well, that well, was all well, well, you recorded it here now. Yes, that's right. Well, that, that was that. So then we put that trailer canteen in Dunallan Park. Oh, I see. That now, was, was, it, was it owned by the borough at that time? or how, what was the, the park was owned the by the borough. Yes. Oh, yes, that, they took that over well, during the war. I, I see. Think, yes. so, but yeah. Anyway, we put it by the, by the lake yes. and we did uh, ice creams and that from it. Oh. And uh, then um, well, the following season, I bought an old Indian hospital marquee, yeah, and uh, now where did you come across that? Well, it was advertised in London. Yes. Uh, at Stockwell Road, London, actually. Yes. And I, I got this big marquee, and we put that up in the park. Yes. And we did the teas from the marquee. Oh yes. And uh, the ice creams from the trailer canteen. And you say we? Who was? My which brother and I. Your brother and I. Yes, yeah, yes, we yes. was always together. Mm -hmm, brother and I. Mm -hmm. And um, then. Late, later, uh, we moved, We sold both the marquee and the uh, trailer canteen. Now, uh, don't you say later, how much later? How long did you um, move? About, about, just well, approximately. I can't, I can't, I can't it was 1950 when we put the trailer canteen in the park. Yes. And it was roughly two, uh, 1952 when we when sold both the, can the trailer canteen and the uh, marquee. Mm -hmm. uh, so then we had a little wooden building very near where the new cafe is, quite yes. near there. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, we operated from there where we could do meals then as it was situated like that. Mm -hmm. so and did you do that all year round or only in the summer? Oh, uh, no, mainly up to about Christmas and yeah. then opened again about February. Mm -hmm. uh, but at that time, from where a lot of our best customers, Concord College, which was very near Dunallan Park, mm -hmm. and also there was St Christopher's College, that was quite close. Oh, yes, yes. Well, <laughs> the boys and the girls were not allowed to mix. Oh, yes, of course. That, that, that was strictly forbidden, you see. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mrs Taylor, who was, I think it was her name, anyway, the elderly lady who was in charge of Concord College, used to come into the park to see if her boys were there, you see. Oh, yes. Well, the boys and the girls all used to mix in our tea garden. You of know. course. And directly she'd come down the hill, because there was no post she could come yes. down the hill. Yes. The boys and girls used to run through the caffeine in the Rosie Denton book. And she'd come puffing up to the, cafe, to the my little hut and she'd say, Mr. Matchett, have you seen my boys? 
and they was all in the residential. Yes, yes, yes. Said, well, they were in earlier, Miss Taylor. <laughs> I said, but uh, she said, not with the girls, are they? I said, well, they're not allowed, are they? She said, no, they're not, Mr. Magic. You would tell me, wouldn't you? <laughs> and I, I said, oh, yes, of course I would. I said, no, they're in earlier, but uh, I haven't seen them lately. Yes, and of course, yes. She'd go off. And, and out come, come. Out they would come. Oh, clear on it. Yes. <laughs> that was good fun we used yes, to have with that. Yes, then yes. in 1954, we took over the boats then. We had oh, the captain so, first. Yeah. Now, when you say took over, did you start the boats or were there no, already boats? No, we didn't boats? start them. They were there. A, mm. a man named Mr. Adslip owned them before mm -hmm. he started it. There. Yes, yes. I believe he had a place at Rygate as well. Uh -huh, but uh -huh. then, uh, then uh, we, Ron and I, well, I run the cafe and Ron did the boats with yes. my father. He was there then Oh, he well. helped as well. He yes, helped on yes. the boats, yeah. Now, can you remember what the uh, rate was for renting a boat when you began? Yeah, yes, it was one and six for a rowing boat. Plus mm -hmm. six pounds for extra passengers. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what the, that's what the price was. That was how it was yeah. priced, yes. Yeah. It was very, very much different then. Oh, there, was, yes. there was no life jackets. So no, 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 no. Health and safety didn't happen. Yeah. Health and safety was just not there. No, no, no. 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 no and I, how, about how many boats did you um, run? <clears throat> when we started then, we had around 10 rowing boats and about eight canoes. Mm -hmm. no, no pedal boats. That's mm -hmm. all we had when mm -hmm. we started there. Yes. When we yes. took over the boats, that's all the world. But mm -hmm. uh, we had that for quite a while, as that. Yes. And well, then we slowly built up to the yes. fleet we've got now. We've yes. Got, well, now we have 24 seater pedal boat, six two seaters, uh, 13 rowing boats, 16 canoes. Oh, it's a small navy, isn't it? It could be what it was. It, it is. Yes, yeah. yes. But oh, we've had a great deal of fun there, a mm. great deal of fun there. Uh, some of those uh, boats that they had there, they were little square wooden boats, mm -hmm. which they were used by, on the coast uh, for Sunderland flying boats as a flare, flare part. Really? They laid those boats in a line, yes. and they had flares in them, yes. and uh, so they could the Sunderland see... flying boat landed between them, obviously. When oh, they needed really? Yeah, that, that so they were... you had another product of the war. Uh, that was your... it. Yes. Yeah, that was that one. Mm. And, uh, also, the Spitfire overload tanks, and you know the overload tanks they used to carry on the wings to give them extra extra petrol. Petrol, yes. And then they dislodged those. Oh yes, when they yeah. But they just let them go, mm -hmm. and uh, they could get further. Well, some of them had been bought up, and they put aluminium tubes between them and a the little cockpit, and they made them into catamarans. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was a creative business. They, were, they yes. were good. They were yes. good. They were quite popular. They floated. Too. Were they metal that floated, or were they? What were they made out of? The what the the, 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 the what? They were aluminium. Mm. Oh, aluminium. Oh, I aluminium. see. So it was light yes. enough. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. okay. The only mm. trouble was with aluminium, can't weld it very much, and the struts used to wear. So yes, yes. But I'll never forget one day. There was a very, very big Irish lady come down, full of fun, you know, mm -hmm. and she said, "I want a paddle boat, please." I said, "Well." You know, really, they're for children. I said, they're very sturdy, but they are for children. <laughs> and very she said, tactful. I haven't been in a paddle boat since I was a child. I want to go out in it. When she went out, did it. <laughs> and honestly, you could have walked with her. <laughs> when she came in, we couldn't get her out. Oh. She was jammed, <laughs> absolutely jammed. Yeah. And she, she was gossiping like anything, which made it worse. Yes, and yes. Well, well, I just couldn't. It was about 20 minutes and we tried to get her out and couldn't, we couldn't get her out. And so in the end, two of them had to jump in the lake and wedge her out. And I held the boat from the inside and finally we wedged her. You managed to get her. It took oh, a long time. Well, kind of, oh, it was, it was so, so it much was fun. So, fun. Yes. so much fun. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah, we had. And with the boats there, I, I'll not forget, I, I was saying that we turned two of them into warships for the firework people. They ask us if we'd do that. So, we, so we, this is the fireworks in uh, November, yeah, 5th of November. In November, yes, yeah. yes. And they, we turned these two boats <laughs> into, we made a very good old job of it, we put a battleship guns on the front. And everything. Oh yes, proper. Oh, yeah, we proper. had it done well. Yes. And uh, they put rockets on each of them, firing at one another, and it was a big crowd there. Oh, can imagine And then they, they put uh, a smoke canister in, in one of them, and uh, also, a big explosion. Oh, and yes, all of a sudden, yes. there was a big explosion, and the smoke went up, <laughs> and one was deemed the other. 
Well, <laughs> yes, but and I'm sure it was the British boat that was the winner, was it? It was the British boat that was the winner, yes, it was. We won't mention the name of the enemy, yeah. <laughs> no, that was that. And then, but the joke of it was then, oh, it wasn't very funny really, in formation come a line of geese, and it looked like, you know, oh, yes, reinforcements it? coming up. Oh, dear. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, uh, of course, uh, it, it really was a, uh, absolutely at the right time that they came up. Yes. But then the council got it in the neck because uh, they got mowed because the bird lovers. Oh, the bird lovers, yes. yes so they yes, were mad yes, about yes, it. But, yes. you know, it, it really did look effective. Yes. It, it really did. Yes, but, that must have been a oh, great yeah, occasion. Great fun. Yes, but, we, yes. we, had, you know, we had great times with it. Mm -hmm. uh, when they pulled the big house down, you remember in, that, of course. Yeah, of course, yes. when they pulled down all the house down. Yes. I think that was about 54, five, uh, mm -hmm. so it's in there, it's about 54, five. Yes. Well, then when they, they were building the houses there, mm -hmm. what the workmen used to do, when we went to lunch, they used to take some of the boats out mm -hmm. and row around. They never paid us. And didn't they, pay, yes, no, yes. They didn't pay us. Yes, yes. They were fun, but yes, they didn't yes. pay. No. We got fed up with this, so what we did one day, we took the oars out of all of them, just left one. But we also drilled a hole in the keel and put a small anchor. <laughs> so so when, when they rowed out to the middle of the lake, the anchor dragged along the bottom until it caught something hard. So they, would they be, couldn't move. They could, they'd be and stuck. they didn't know why. No, of they course there was a secret. No, no, no. And so when we come back from lunch, they were screaming and yelling. So yes. we went, they said, we're, 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 I don't know what's going on, we can't move. I got, <laughs> I got the staff boat. And I, I towed them in. I didn't say what the reason. Yes, was. yes, <laughs> yes. Bet they didn't try that. <laughs> they didn't that do it again. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't do it again. Yeah, yeah oh, and, oh no, we had some wonderful times. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. and then of course, when we get, we know that we gave up the cafe and we just kept to the boat. And and and, 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 and as, the as, the, as the main yeah. as the main thing. Well, and I worked together. Then. Yes. Now. I I was thinking about you know children and water is always a bit tricky. Did you ever have any real emergencies uh, with with children? You always or? get um, you know uh, I mean these days of course everyone's got a jacket. Yes, on, of course. So there's yeah. no there. Yeah. But I remember one one case there when the sea cadets they used to be there. Yes. When they left and went to build water, mm. they left all their craft because they were really rubbish. They were mm -hmm. finished. Mm -hmm. But there was one canoe which was quite good. Well, in the old days, they used to make a canoe with the hull and then the decking and then put, join the two together. Yes. Well, I always did all the woodwork repairs. Ron, Ron did all the fiberglass repairs. Mm -hmm. Well, I said, put a bit of tape around that one. We could use that one. Well, Ron used to smoke his pipe and nah, never got done. And I'll never forget it. The chat came down. Real RAF prune type. Oh, yes. With the big moustache. Had my hat on. Yes. With a daughter about 14. He said, mm -hmm. two canoes. So I said, we walked along and this canoe was there. He said, well, that, that will suit me. I said, no, you have these two at the end. I want that craft, he said. So I thought, well, I'll take it. Well, he took it out. Well, he'd been out about 20 minutes and paddling away and suddenly I saw it slowly going down <laughs> from the bells. What happened? Where this crack was, where the tape was, it yes, hadn't filled. It you know, filled the bottom. And of course it was slowly, and the, he went slowly down. <laughs> the time he got to the quay, there was a chap paddling away, but the canoe was not, it hadn't gone right down, <laughs> but it was just under the water. Oh. And he said, by Joe, she sank on me. <laughs> I, I said, well, so I said, you're obviously an expert canoeist. I said, I've seen by the speed you went. You must have been shipping water from the stern. He said, had I done so, I should have felt it on my bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, well, you must know, because you were sitting in water. And the daughter was screaming with laughter. Of course, of he course. He took it well, though. Yes, he yes. He didn't really know yes. what it was. Oh, that must have been a sight. Oh, it was fun. Yes, it was fun. Yes, yes. Oh, we had a lot of fun there. Mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. And then one year, they, the council wanted to boxing ring on the lake. On the lake? Yeah. So they made it up with barrels and they had a proper boxing ring. Yes. And it was for wrestling, not boxing. Uh -huh. And so we had to have a boat by the side oh, of as course. they threw them in because they did the tag wrestling and threw them over the side. So the loser went in the water. So they went in the water. Uh, but we kept the boat well back because obviously, yes, <laughs> because yes. quite honestly, <laughs> they, there was some big some heavy big chaps, over yes, in the water yes, there. Yes, uh, yes, so that was yes. great fun. Yes. Then no, they, was that was that a fireworks night or no? Was just no, a, they used to have a carnival once a year. Oh, I see. The fun day. Uh -huh. And uh, also they had a high wire act from the top of the trees. Did they? Yes, yeah, they did. Yeah. My goodness. That was going back a few years. Yeah, yes. But they had a high wire. There was around 10,000 people there at that time. Good gracious. Mm, it was, yeah. 
Well, that's been fantastic. Been my time. Yes. Oh, there's been some lovely adventures. Mm, mm, really mm. Well, it's a wonderful, it's a natural place for, it's for a, a theatre, really, isn't it? Yeah, the Salvation Army used to play in there, you know, really? in Sundays and that yes, sort of thing. Yes, yes, yes. It was yes, really great. Yes. Mm. We had some wonderful times. Mm, mm. But um, now, of course, uh, you know, it's very, very, every boat has to be licensed. Of course, there's highly regulated, yeah. isn't it? Yes, yes, um, yes. Well, it's right, it's proper. But, yes. Uh, I agree with it. But, yes. Uh, yeah, but it is so different. You know, it's so different, not so much fun, probably, in no, some ways. No, it's more yes. business than fun. Yes, it's, mean, business, it's business, yes. Now, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. in those days, it was terrific fun. Mm -hmm. Quite honestly, <laughs> you know, a lot, lot couldn't row. And of course, thing, yes. You know, well, I, I have seen some pretty bad rowing myself. I take my grandchildren out, and there's yeah. some people who go round and round yeah. in circles. Oh, and they, do. <laughs> they, do. they go round in circles, yes. too, but yes. they all enjoy it. Oh, it's such fun. Yeah. You'll be surprised, the number of families that go out, they are let the children take the boat out and then they change over and when they come in they let the children bring it in because <laughs> they don't want to be seen. Oh, that, yes, they yes, yes, they yes. But the, what about numbers? I mean, have you noticed a lot, is it more or less a steady trade or? Uh, well, obviously it depends on the weather. Yes. You know, yeah. if, if uh, the weather is good, uh, it's, it's a bit like a fruit machine. Mm -hmm. If the children are on the holiday and you've got good weather, you get, you get lots of people. Yeah. yeah. If you know weekdays in, when the children are at school, it's very very slack. Yes. You know? Yes. Yes. But yes. we've always, uh, you know, kept open from May till October mm -hmm. full time. We're mm -hmm. open before that weekends and that. Yes. But we keep open whatever the weather yes. full time. Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, that's one. And yeah. we've recently started this pick and mix. You know, they have four pound per head, and they can go on what they like. Oh, I four see. Now. Oh, so you have an hour of whichever kind of boat? Anything they want to go on. Yes. They, they usually go in canoes and come yes. back in a pedal boat and go back on canoes and go in double canoes. Oh, well They go on rowing boats for yes. an hour. They so they can have a really good boat. That has been yes. very popular. Yes. Yeah, that has yeah. been very popular. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a new thing we started, which is very popular. Have, have you ever had to refuse anybody uh, access to a boat because you didn't feel they were well, going to be able we, to? Well, you know, it is on the board that a deposit may be charged. Yes, and, yes. Uh, if, they seem to be problems, but we don't get much trouble there. No, no. But if they do, we just go out and tell them in. There's your money. Go back. Yes, we don't yes, yes. Yes. But, uh, you know, we don't. It's very, mostly, and it's a lovely job because yes, ninety percent of the people are either on holiday or on recreation. Yes, so yes. They're, you know, they're, they're in a good mood. Uh, in, in saying that, I had a, a quite a an unusual one last year. And the lady came up and she said, can you have five in a rainbow? I said, yes, yeah, certainly. And she said, well, uh, could I put a dog in as well? And I said, yes, fine, because we've got boats to take by. Mm. Anyway, the children put on life jackets. The adults didn't want the life jackets, they were there. Uh, and all of a sudden I heard a scream. And there was the lady in the water, in deep water. Good she, gracious. Well, we've got a set drill. We've got two staff boats. Yes. And one of them shot out alongside her and pulled her in. And what had happened, she had had a terrible row with her husband. And I don't know, frustration or temper, she jumped in. Oh, she jumped in. <laughs> you can't jump and do water if you can't swim. If you can't swim, it's not a good <laughs> and idea. And then they continued the row on the quay. And I said, do you mind leaving the quay and finish your row? And he was saying, you're not going to get in my car, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> And she said to me, I'm cold. I said, well, you will be if you jump in the lake. <laughs> I've never had that happen before. That's the first time I've had that. Well, there's nothing like people know. for no. unusual behaviour. And I had uh, another chat come up and he said, a double canoe, please. Well, I've got three types of canoes. I've got a real Canadian canoe, which mm -hmm. is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I've got a middle of the road one. And I've got a stodgy old one, which is most like a rowing boat. Yes. Oh, he said, I'm a canoeist. I want a popper canoe. I said, well, take it. So he took his, he got a, a son with him, who was about nine, I suppose. Mm -hmm. He couldn't handle a canoe. He hadn't been out in five minutes and he dipped it over. Oh dear. Yeah. He got jackets on, of course, because yes. I'm a load of canoes yes. without jacket. Yes. He tipped it over. But then when he came in, he asked me to sign a paper that he destroyed his trousers. Oh. <laughs> I said, well, you haven't destroyed your trousers. I said, you've got them wet. So he said, I want you to put down, I've destroyed my child. I said, no, I'll not do that. I put down, through your carelessness, you overturned your canoe and you got your trousers wet. And that's what I did. 
<laughs> I suppose he was trying to claim, wasn't it? Oh, yes, well, yeah. yes, that's I right, I think. But yeah. we get funny instances like that, mm, but uh, mm. generally speaking, it, it's lovely. You know, yes, it is yes. And, and how about the sort of the politics end of it? You, you, are you a tenant of the council? How does oh, yes. Work? Yes, I've been a ten tenant of the council since 1950. Mm. Yes. And uh, we keep renewing the lease. Yes. And, Yes. Quite quite recently, well, I think it was about two or three years ago. I think was, I went into a local to renew the lease, and uh, they said, well, "How much longer do you want?" And I said, ten years." Well, they know my age. Yes, <laughs> you can see they're all yes working it out. <laughs> yes. Yes. I said, ten yes. years." Yes. Any reason why not? No. No, no, not at all. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so so, so it's, it's been an amicable. Oh yes, it has. Yes. Oh, well, but to be it. honest. We now have probably got the best boat kiosk and the boat's best boat store in, in the whole of the south. I'm sure. No I'm sure that's better. true. I'm no sure that's true. And of course, they couldn't they couldn't replace that facility because it brings people to the park in such numbers, doesn't oh, it? it? Does. It's yeah, a wonderful. Yeah. I, I even haven't phoned up in Belgium to bring sixty Is that tunes. Right? Is yeah. that right? They bring sixty tunes. Yeah. Oh yeah, from all over. So that people come from a long way off to. Oh, uh, they book a party. Yes. You know, book a party. Well, it's such a wonderful experience mm, to. Oh, yeah. to go and, and, and quite honestly, it's very reasonable. Oh, of course. Think. We don't overcharge others. No, no. Uh, we honestly have never done it solely for money. You've mm, got to have money. Mm. You've got to pay your bills. Mm -hmm. but, no, we we enjoyed boating. And yes, that yes, it, yes. But that's how it all started through that trailer camping. Through the imagine that mm, that mm, such sort of such a wonderful for twenty pound, which was never cash. A, a, a good twenty pound investment that was never cash. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if your ladyship ever found out what you did with her canteen. Yes. No, yeah. one doesn't know. Can't know. No. They, fact, they moved off, and of course, not a circle I joined. Of know. course, no, of course. So I don't know. And then, of course, you had to put things on hold while the uh, place was refurbished. Uh, yes. How did that? Uh, Eighteen months. Yeah. Eighteen months was it? Yeah, but yeah. the council gave me good compensation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I didn't. I got one staff on, and I kept him going. Did you really? So yes. for the eighteen months, so uh, oh, all the considerable compensation expense. Went yes, yes, yeah, yeah. 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 But um, yeah, he, he he's been with me twenty-five years. Has he really? Mm -hmm. no. yeah. Well. Yeah, it's yeah. it's obviously a, a job that people who could get into it he enjoy. Was, when he was right, he's so chaffy as ex-motion navy. You know. Oh well, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Yes, so, yes. So he used it. Yes. And uh, Ron, my brother, he was a, a natural. Gentleman. Yes. Natural. Yes. Yes. You know, yes. smoked his old pipe, he did. Yeah, yeah. Nothing would stop him smoking his pipe. They couldn't <laughs> stop him smoking his pipe today. <laughs> he was there. In Even fact, in when they come all up, the rules, yeah. when they come up and put the notice up, no smoking, they turned around to me and said, well, if Ron was here, we wouldn't take much notice, would he? I don't think he would. <laughs> he no, done, no, 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 he no it, was, it was like a part of his arm, wasn't oh, it? it? Yes, yes. yes. Well, I had a really touching moment recently. Uh, when uh, we're going back now to a roundabout, 55, 56, 1955, 56. There was a lad, he lost, I think it was polio, both arms. Oh dear. Both, both arms, they had stumps. Mm, mm. And Ron fixed a boat up so that he could tie straps to his arm and he could row a boat. Wonderful. He could row. Imagine. Yeah. Um, and wonderful. he used to come down quite often. Yes. He was a clever Ron, didn't yes, like, And he, yes. he made it so he could row it. Yes. So the yes. oars didn't come out of the roller. Mm. And this season, this man come down. It says Ron here. That's, I'm sorry, Ron's gone. Oh, and this was his man. And he remember obviously. And he'd come up from I think it was Herne Bay. He had had to come down to, for some reason or other. Yes. And he came from Herne Bay to Tumwich Wells. Yes. Especially. Uh huh. And he was saying, well, a pity, a pity mm, well, that Ron didn't sure. uh, hear that. Yeah. 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 All those years ago, that was. Imagine, yeah. imagine. Yes. Because mm, obviously. I didn't well, know. you you make a huge impression on a lot of um, young people. Oh, uh, I love yes. them. You see, we're about the only lake. That, well, I let them out about six years old in canoes. Mm, mm. So they've got a jacket on, yes. they're open cockpit. And it's, it's, it's yes. under careful scrutiny all the time. Yes, careful yes, scrutiny, yes, we've got yes. two outboards, we've got a set drill. Yes. And, and quite frankly, when they go out, they're stiff, like, they come back. Yes, of they're course. They're six foot tall. Yes, and I yes. love it. That uh, is, to oh. me, the greatest thrill of all. It's a, a really to see those children yes. when they go out. Yes. And that is the reason I, I just had a quite a big debate with the council. They've got me a new store down the industrial estate, a brand new one, beautiful. Mm -hmm. beautiful. For, the, for the boats too. Uh, yeah, yeah, for the boats, yeah. But uh, they wanted 3,000 pound rates. I couldn't afford that. And I said, I'm sorry, I just can't afford that. 
and we've come to terms on it. But if I had done so, what I would have had to do, and I didn't want to do, I would have had to just open when there was business and yes. not open, and I didn't want that because we've always opened on May the first, whatever. Um, and and kept so it I didn't going. Want that. Yes. And since we've been in that place, we've never put our prices up. Not that since that new building. Yes, since the new building. Yes, yes. They were yeah. in, the, in fact, quite recently, <laughs> I was, a couple of chaps come up there and they said, "You haven't put your prices up since you've been in there." But I said, "No fear." He said, "Why not?" I said, we see that price board on the wall there, the council put it up, big one. I said, that cost £140. I said, no, I'm not having a new one. <laughs> <laughs> and they looked at one another and they said, well, the old fool, doesn't he realise he'll get it back? £140 <laughs> <laughs> for a new one. Yes, yes. I think not so much the old fool as the crafty man. Yes. Well, it's... No, it's with the children, you know, you if you see their faces it's fantastic mm, mm. when they go out and what you know always with a boy i say well just just go in the front here there's no charge just take a canoe up and down just up and down no more don't go out in the lake just up and down mm -hmm. and when they get confident and i've had so many come up to me and put their little hand over and say thank you Yes, 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 yes. That is worth everything. Indeed, that is worth indeed. Everything. Yeah, it's worth everything. Yes, and it's, I mean, it's such a great opportunity for them oh, to... Oh, yeah. Uh, I see, see some wonderful things. They moan about children and that today, but quite honestly, there was one chap come up and his daughter, she was quite ni uh, nine at least, mm -hmm. and she was terrified. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, well, don't, don't force them. If they want to go, don't go. He didn't do that. He lifted his trousers right up to his knees, jumped in, and pulled her up and down on the key. Ah, no more. Yes. So that's enough for the day. Yes, just and he came back the following week and he took a canoe himself and he towed them out. And you know, after three weeks, she was fine. Yes. She, they often come up now. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Yes, because it's so important not to be afraid of water. Well, it is. Yes, yeah, it yes, is yeah. yes. And yes. Quite honestly, the patience he showed was, was wonderful. Yes. It was really wonderful. Truly wonderful. Yes. But I have one this season. You're, you're the love for seeing it. She had come out, so I'm a canoeing instructor. And I said, oh, yeah. Pleased to meet you, so he said, I've got two pupils here, I want three canoes, please. Well, there was a big crowd on the front, and he took them out, and I don't know what he was trying to do. He had one each side of him, he held his canoe up in the air like that, and he went like that to them. That was a steady old chap. Over he went. <laughs> <laughs> that was the canoe instructor. That was the instructor. <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd were quiet for a moment, and then they roared with laughter. Of course, yes, that would Give them a laugh. Yes, yes, yes. So you know, we do get a lot of laughs. So yes, it, it indeed, is good indeed. It is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we shall hope to carry on quite a bit more. The sun will take over when I go. I yes, so that that it will uh, keep going. But the other thing I've noticed too is how the lads that you have as your helpers, that how how well they perform because little children say, well, the man. I say the man's going to put your life jacket on. And, they're so competent and so yeah. they look like young teenagers, but they they really take charge of things well, well, don't they? Well, you know what I you know I tell them when I take them on, I pay them as much as a man. Do you? Oh, yes. Do the yes. Uh, mostly, you know, they get about five fifty an hour. Yes. Six pounds, some and more. Yeah. But I say, look, there's one thing I will never have. If I see an elderly person getting out of a boat and you're not jumping to help, you're finished. Yes. Oh, good. Yes. You're finished. Yes, and yes. Every one of them love it, and they love the, the way of it. Yes, know? yes, and yes. And I said, no, if the child is frightened, don't ever let them get frightened. Go alongside, take a canoe, go alongside them, and just show them how to do it. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. you know, they love it because yes. they've got an interest in it. Yes. And mm -hmm. the crew I've got, they're brilliant. They really they're really, are brilliant. You know, they're wonderful, are wonderful. They're excellent. Yes. Well, that's because you've set them the right tone. And well, the, it's, the yes. right, it's the right way of going on. Mm, mm, I had an American come down recently, he was quite a powerful man, and uh, he said, I've been watching your business, I like it. I said, you do? He said, what, what's your way of business? I said, well, pay extremely well and expect a good result. He said, that's exactly how I work. He said, I've got hotels in the Bahamas, in London. Yes, yes, yes. Well, that's the yes. secret of um, how, to, uh, how to do it. But that is, you know, the way we've always won up. Uh -huh. And that's why I've always said to the council, it's not solely money. No, I said, no. it is a service as well, and yes. it's not got to be like that. Mm, and, mm. you know, it's not, I'm not compelled to do it, but I said, you never want it altered that they open on May the 1st and don't shut till October the 1st. 
they got leeway after that or mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. but that mm -hmm. is compulsory. Yes, they? yes. And that's worked out well. Yes, indeed, but indeed. Yes. Well. well, you're a remarkable uh, entrepreneur. Who well, it we, we worked out. We were just extremely lucky, you know. Well, I, I think there's more than more than luck to it. I think it's the personalities involved. Well, yes. you're going to enjoy it. If yes. you don't enjoy yes. it, I mean, yes. if it was solely money you wanted, no, don't no, think no, so. You would no. spend a lot of hours there. But of course. No, yeah. I, I I still enjoy it, and quite honestly, I'll mm. never alter from. Mm. But uh, oh, we we've had a lot of different fun up there, and we, we you know we had a little. But as you said, it is more business now. Yes, yes, mm. yes. It has changed in that way. Yeah, it is. But, um, but you you managed to uh, keep your your the spirit of the thing the same. I think so. Yes, yes, yes. I think so. Mm -hmm. you know you've got to be a bit more careful as regards. See, each boat has to be licensed now. Individually? Oh, yeah. And um, each life jacket has to be licensed. Goodness. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I've got now, what, 170 life jackets. And each one of them has to be shown and licensed. and <laughs> So that they're properly um, inflated or whatever. But they have no, not the slightest tear in them of yes, any kind. Yeah. And the zips are working perfectly. And uh -huh, as uh -huh. a matter of fact, <laughs> now I, I have to wash every one of them. Really, yeah. yeah. So it's a winter task yeah, that winter task. Uh, yeah, you wash yeah. every one of them, yeah. and the same with every boat is checked over. You know, uh -huh, and uh -huh. I mean, there's some things I don't agree with, and to be honest, I don't obey. Mm -hmm. now, you, I don't know if you've seen those two seater pedal boats I've got. Well, I know the ones. Well, you mean, yes. mum and dad, and the little child sit on the yes. steering wheel. They say we can't do that. Can we put three in a two seater? I said, oh, well, okay. what are you going to do then? I said, put them in the four. I said, if you put them in the four, mum and dad are at the back. There's no place for the little one. on their own. Exactly. Mm. So yes. I won't do that. No. I won't do that. No. I, could, no. I continue doing that. Well, that's a rule made by people who don't know the actual mechanics of the boat. Well, that yeah. small child well, is 100% safe. Of course. Right between mum and dad, can't yes. go forward or backwards or sideways. Yes. In a yes. pedal boat, it's not so safe in a no. big one. No. So no. I, I won't agree with that. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with mm -hmm. that. Other than that, I think, you know, I guess a lot of yes. it is good. Yes, it? yes, good. yeah, yeah. But, uh, no, I, I, I find that um, they are, you know, they're very fair, mm. but it all has to be done. Oh, yes, mm. yes. And what about inspections? Do they come to check you out or do you fill in forms? How do yeah, you? well, they've written to me now. They want to come this year. Well, I'm in the middle of moving all the boats again to down to this to new the store. New place, yes. And I can't see I can get it done now. We're nearly into January. Mm. We go on the water sometimes last year. We're not in February. Did you? Yes, it, yeah. it didn't work out, but... Well, latest we go on is March, mm -hmm, so I mm -hmm. can't see how we can get it done this year. That's we'll have to wait next year. Have to wait. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Don't yeah. wait next year. Mm. But um, I hope we can get a few more years yet. Oh, I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Matchett. That that's been fantastic. Okay, and, I'll uh, give you a little copy of that then if they want it. Then. Okay. I was only uh, I was about 17. And I was in indoors, and it was wireless in those days. Mm -hmm. And this was 40, and early 40. And they said, could every man who's available and any lad who's not yet been called up come immediately to the police station and uh, join the LDV, which was the local defence volunteers? Oh, yes. Uh, was that like the Dad's Army idea? It was the yeah. beginning of the Home Guard. Mm -hmm. They had to be mm -hmm. called the Home Guard. Yes, the Home Guard. Because yes. if you remember, they were the LDV at first, mm. but you had an armband. But they, um, I think the Germans said that they would hang them because really? they were not soldiers. Oh, yes, of course, yeah so, yeah. so they had to make them into the Home Guard. But anyway, I went to the police station and registered, <laughs> and everybody seemed about six foot of four course, tall. Just, I was yes, down yes, there. Yeah. <laughs> and the first job I had was in the high woods with a stick <laughs> near the Star Baker, where that field is up yes. there, looking in case they dropped paratroopers. I don't think I so could have done much. <laughs> you were a 17 year old with a stick. Oh, and then. Goodness. Where I first came into Dunallan was that on the tower on the, of the old house, mm -hmm. you had to sit on the tower, and as the German bombers come over, you had to write down in the dark the time that they went over. I see. And when they come back, <laughs> well, when you went down in the guard room, you couldn't understand what you were doing. Couldn't understand the your dark. writing. Yes. <laughs> so yes. you made a lot of it up. <laughs> of course, of course. Oh, well, that's well. how I first knew that on, that's on top of that town. Yes, and little yes. to know that in the next that 60 years I'd be in the You'd be there, spend your life there. Well, so it's only through the war 
that yes. uh, you know it that you, can. Yes. Because if it had not been for the war, I wouldn't have been window cleaning after. No. I'd have stuck to a grocer and I would have never gone and seen Lady Knowles. Exactly, and, and of course, probably Dunorland being in your mind, having been there, it might have, you know you could see the opportunity for going there. Perhaps. I don't think that really entered my mind, except yeah. you had a trailer canteen, and I thought that's a good place to put it. Yes, that yes, it. And that was it, yes, yeah. yes. But, yes. Uh, no, had it not been for the war, I certainly wouldn't have been up there, no way. No, 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 no. At what age were you when you joined up? Uh, well, that year. I yes, joined, I was in the Home Guard, that was early 40, and then yeah. I joined up in November 40. Uh -huh, I, uh -huh. I went in the RAF myself then. Did you? Yes. Mm -hmm. And did you serve, where did you serve? I did a couple of years in the Middle East and a couple of years in the Far East. Uh -huh. you know, we went up as far as uh, uh, Tripoli. Yes. We went up to, to Benghazi, Tripoli. And then we were shot off right over to the Far East. Oh, wow. We went to Ceylon first, uh -huh. then we went up through India up to Assam, Chittagong, Cox Bazaar, oh, Akihabara, wow. Ramri Island, up there in that way. Good gracious, you yeah. have seen the world. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. I've seen the world, but I've never been to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> all the children have. And yes, all the, yes. I've flown over it, because mm. I've flown over it coming back. Yes, yes. But I've never, never landed been. in Europe. No. Never well, been. I guess you meet quite a lot of Europe at Dunorland. They oh, come to you, don't you they? You meet a lot yes, of them there. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, but Isn't that interesting? You've oh, been, yeah. been far but not near. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget one day when I was leaving. I had an, uh, an Irish lad working for me then. There was only the two of us. Everyone had gone home. I came, chain, we used to chain all the boats in the circle in the oh, centre yes. with, with chains and shackles. Mm -hmm. And we'd done all that. And we're walking up the hill and down come a party of 40 Germans. Well, I wasn't going to lose that trade. No. So I said, right, to Timmy, help me get the boats in. And he, he, he was a character, Timmy was. He pulled up, we pulled all the boats in and the Germans were marvellous. The discipline on them was terrific. Mm. They put the oars in, they helped one another in the boats, and no car, absolutely calm, no panic. Mm. And within 10 quarter an hour, every one of them was out in boats. Mm -hmm. and they were oh, well done. Mm. Well, Timmy said to me, I, I, I damaged one of the boats. I said, how did you damage it, Timmy? He said, I was tugging on the chain and I pulled half the side off. I said, well, leave it at the other end and we'll see to it later. Later, I said, well, where's this boat you damaged to me? And he said, I let it out. <laughs> I said, what do you mean you let it out? He said, well, we'll be short of boats. <laughs> <laughs> and the rowlock, the whole side was strained outwards, you know. It wasn't leaking, actually. No, but, but it, it couldn't have boats. He wasn't going to miss that business. <laughs> <laughs> that was too many, but... It, the maze, it amazed me mm. how disciplined the Germans yes, were. Yes, they really yes, were. yes. They well, really didn't panic, just quiet. No, and, no. And, no I, didn't, I wasn't going to lose that to it. No, indeed. <laughs> no, indeed. <laughs>